Good morning, DSHA. This is Mrs. Herbers, and today is April 23rd. It's another day staying safer at home. I know we are all missing so many things, sporting events, theater and musical performances, prom, classes, and just being together. In fact, today was supposed to be my first day in Rome visiting my daughter, Sarah, who was studying in Italy for the semester. She's home safe and healthy, and we're lucky to be able to spend time with her here. It's not Italy, but we're making the best of it. And that's what we're all doing. Your teachers, parents, siblings, and friends, all trying our best to make good things out of the bad. I've been checking out some of your videos and it seems like Dasher Nation is making a good go of it. Let's not forget that while we don't understand God's plan, he is there for us and he loves us through all of it. I found this prayer in a Bible study website called Walk With Purpose. Let us quiet ourselves. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, this is the day that you have made. You offer it to us and invite us to find joy in it. You sustain us, giving us life, breath by breath. You hold the world together. You hold each of us together. We have a choice. We can try to carry the world on our shoulders or offload our cares onto you. You respect our free will. You won't snatch our burdens from us. You'll just wait to see if we lay them down at your feet. Why do we hold on to them? Why do we have more confidence in our own abilities than we do in yours? Forgive us, Lord, for our pride. Forgive us for placing more trust in ourselves and others than we do in you. Help us to have just a little more courage than fear, to jump into the unknown and believe that you will be there to catch us. Holy Mary, Mother of our Savior, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great day, DSHA. I have the news for you. Today is National Picnic Day. Don't forget to take a picture of you having a picnic. Be creative, have fun, uh, and have a virtual picnic with your friends. Here's Empress Crown Point update. As of Tuesday afternoon, the seniors are leading with 2,525 points. The freshmen are in second place with 2,400 points. Don't forget to take a picture based on the theme and post it on the Student Council team's page under all DSIJ faculty, staff, and students. The deadline is quickly approaching for student recruiter applications. Applications are due this Friday, April 24th at 4 p.m. The link to the online application is in your email inbox. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Duffy in the admissions office. Hey juniors, don't forget to send in your pics wearing your prom dress. There will be a special feature in the yearbook just for you. Hey DSHA. What is your scheduled quarantine talent that you have explored? Take a picture and send this to Mrs. LaShreed for a special feature in the yearbook. This will be a yearbook like no other. Make sure you put your mark on history by submitting your at-home pics. It's time to recognize some of our incoming class of 2024 Dashers. A special welcome to Genevieve B. from St. John Vianney, Valerie C. from no Notre Dame School of Milwaukee, Audrey E. from St. Mary Elm Grove, Sophie G. from St. John Vianney, Eliana I. from Wauwatosa Montessori, Callie K. from Wauwatosa Montessori, Maddie L. from Bookfield Academy, Ellie N. from Christ King, Stacey R. from St. Aldbert, Annie S. from St. Alphonsus, Kelly T. from St. Monica, Ari W. from Homeschool. Congratulations and welcome to DSIJ. We are so excited to see you this fall. Happy birthday today to Senior Annika F. Mr. Quisnell has really been making his way around the school. I wonder where in DSIJ we will find him today. 
keep watching to see you where in DSHA is Mr. Quinnell. Well, that's all for announcements. Have a great day, everyone. Good morning, DSHA from Mr. Barron's classroom. It's a jungle in this room right now, and it's a jungle out there. Make sure you find your way. God bless.